hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna talk about produce and consume tag and how you can communicate like that between control logics and compact logics so over here i'm gonna create a new project just from the beginning and it is a compact logics processor which is l43 which is pre-selected because i created this uh, project before so i'm just trying to create again from fresh so you guys can see step by step so this is a revision 20 and i'm going to name it compact logics l43 and just hit okay so it says the file is already exist do you want to replace it yes i want and on over here i want to select 1756 l61 this is a revision 20 as well Control logics L61. Slot 0, that's correct. Slot is 13 slot that I have at my home. So hit OK and it's gonna create project for that. So now what we're gonna do, first of all, let's select the compact logic and we need to add enbt card for compact logic from where we need to communicate with other plcs right <clears throat> so it's going to be 1768 enbt that's my compact logic ethernet card we're going to hit create revision is four it's okay and it's going to be compact logics enbt card Sort number one, that's okay. It's gonna be 192.168.1.22. I think that is slot zero over here. Let's see, hit okay. No, it's slot number one. So hit okay. Okay, now from here, we're gonna select the ENBT card of our control logics PLC. So that's gonna be 1756. ENBT card right here create and it's gonna be control logics ENBT <clears throat> it's at private network at 23 revision slot is gonna be 13 revision is 4 and over here it's 8 yes and hit OK. I want to make sure which chassis I put that on. Number one, that's correct. And over here, we're going to add our processor, which is 1756 L61. Hit create. Revision 20. OK. Slot number zero. And it's going to be. Control logics L61 slot 0 revision is I think 15 here hit OK fail to create okay what we are doing wrong here slot number in use by another module oh come let's see what slot our ENBT is at okay it has to be that's correct let's see this one slot zero it should be one here it apply okay new again 1756-l61 here create revision 20 <coughs> Control logics L61, very easy, slot zero, revision gonna be 15, hit okay, and okay. Okay, compact side, what we did now, we add our ENBT card, our ethernet card of compact logic, and that's gonna communicate to 1756 control logics ethernet card and then processor. 
now we need to select our control logic side so over here we're going to select new module we're going to select our control logic 1756 enbt card that is over here hit create that that slot number one that's correct so it's going to be logics uh, enbt private network at 23 the region over here is 4.8 it okay yes okay Alrighty. now we're gonna add our compact logics through this control logics enbt card we're gonna communicate to compact logics enbt card so we're gonna hit say 1768 enbt revision is four hit okay ip address gonna 192.168.1.22 and it is our compact logics enbt <clears throat> slot gonna be number one and revision is let me check my over here in rs links classic at 22 it is 4.004 so it's gonna be one four here hit okay okay all righty so now we have our enbt card over here for that we're gonna hit new module <clears throat> 1768 l43 hit create k zero gonna be compact logics l43 and hit okay okay we have it so this is our control logics which is our 1756 so we're gonna go who's active go in here so 23 this is control logics <clears throat> go to processor and download that we want to see when we're downloading it there shouldn't be any error over here yes okay no error so everything is good on this side let's select now the compact logic side who is active go to ethernet ip number 22 is my compact logics that print over here download yes there shouldn't be any error over here as well yes okay so there is errors over here right now that means if you go to property side it should say some kind of error slot is 17 here it shouldn't be 17 it is 13 slot chassis so what we're gonna do now we go offline 30 change that is 13 slot chassis hit yes okay okay is there anything wrong here looks okay let's try to now path is already selected over here so we're just gonna straight download let's see if it, any error will occur over here no error so you see if you do select wrong chassis or wrong slot that will be issue so now we can go offline we're gonna create our produce and consume tags in controllers tag so it's gonna be over here produced and consumed on produce when we're gonna go to property we're gonna select here produce go to connection looks good hit okay apply okay on consume side when you go to select consume you need to go connection you need to select l61 and where you are pulling the data from so over there in our other plc we're gonna create the same tag name 
produced that's where we want to pull the data from hit ok apply ok and we're gonna just hit download here <clears throat> and everything should be fine yes we want to download that let's see on this side let's go find controller tags this is gonna be produced and consumed on produce tag and go over here property is gonna be produced connection is okay here okay on consumed side we're gonna select consumed connection where we want to pull produced from the other side hit apply okay just go download straight download so yes we want to run that and that's here and all that here alrighty now both PLCs are communicating via their path over here so the reason I'm saying that let's go to monitor over here this is my control logics and this is my compact logics if I select and produce tag let's say 150 it will go to consume tag over here because this consume tag has a destination of produce from this controller and if I let's say I put zero here it will not go because it's consuming from here we have put zero here and let's say from here produce tag I want to put 160 hit enter 160 will be here I cannot I guess zero it out because it's taking whatever the values in here so that's the way you can create produce and consume tags and you can communicate between PLCs to PLC via this IO tree where you can communicate to other PLC in your plant because it has some kind of IP address through this ENBT and we are pulling the data from a destination and we are sorry we are pulling data from here whatever destination we have and we are throwing data from there and going to a vice versa so that's it's that simple to communicate between two PLC via produce tags. Thank you very much, guys.